just got out of the office it's just past 1 a.m right now one of the latest i've finished um so far six months into seven six months into my job it's funny how if you finish around like nine then you'll feel really rushed to go home anything from like 10 p.m onwards like it just doesn't really matter because you know whether you finish at 10 11 12 or 1 the only thing you're gonna do is just to get some sleep Whereas if you finish at like 9, you can technically still like do some stuff once you get home. But now I'm just walking home, I'm gonna get some good sleep. Tomorrow's Friday, gonna work from home probably. Hopefully gonna be more chill, but we shall see. Ooh. Some days I can't get out of my bed Some days I'm waking up on the wrong side of my head And I got all these eyes on me It is 9. 25 right now i have my morning meeting in five minutes 9 30 woke up at nine today feeling okay actually maybe because it's friday so how is it like actually being a consultant as an outsider consulting can often feel mysterious you don't really know what they actually do but they sound really cool does the reality live up to the hype i've been working as a consultant for just over half a year now and i think i have a pretty decent idea to that question but first let's get into the office Let's break it down into three buckets. First of all, work-life balance. Secondly, extra opportunities. Thirdly, the actual content of work. For work-life balance, before I joined consulting, I had the expectation that the work-life balance in this job will be consistently higher than average. I was expecting maybe a nine to eight every single day where every day you are decently busy. This is actually not that true. Consulting is a project-based job. You work on different projects every few weeks. Hours can be long and work can be really intense when you are on a project. It may be 9 to 7 sometimes, but on a bad day, it can be 9 to 12. It really varies depending on the project, the client, and how close the deadline is. But also because the job is project-based, there will be some times where there are gaps in between projects. In those times, you will usually go around asking people if they need help on any ad hoc work, like helping out on a few slides, doing some research, writing some thought pieces. Those are much less intense and the hours are usually really good. So overall, work-life balance varies a lot more than I expected. Content creating? Yeah. talking about extra opportunities it means the kind of job and career path they can go down after doing consulting one reason why people go into consulting is exactly because of that and i'm not going to lie and say that i came here expecting to stay forever i'm still young i'm still figuring it out but one expectation i had was that by doing consulting it will open doors to more exciting opportunities and that does seem to be the case in the last few months i've seen colleagues leave to all kinds of places private equity venture capital startups or even big tech like tiktok so this reputation does seem to live up to its name Saturday. I'm actually recording a podcast today with my new friend Alex, which is super cool. One thing I really like about content creation is that it leads you to different kinds of weird opportunities and help you meet different kinds of people. So Alex is like a great example. I met him through doing like YouTube and Instagram and turns out that he's like one of the childhood best friends of one of my flatmates from university, which is like super cool. We linked up like we talked for a while and then he invited me onto his podcast, which we will be recording shortly. Uh, this is Alex. I think we're doing a podcast, I guess. Unless otherwise. We're twins. twins. We are. Oh, you can't say where we work. You can't say where we work. I haven't oh, told people that. I'll bloop it out. <laughs> Thirdly, the content of work. Entering consulting, I expected the work to be a lot on problem solving, advising big businesses on interesting and important problems. To a certain extent, that is true. But you also realize that as a junior consultant, you won't immediately dive into the interesting bits. 
For the last six months, I've been doing a lot of mundane and basic tasks like doing research, scheduling calls, and making really simple PowerPoint slides. But you also slowly realize that those are important because while you're doing it, you're also shadowing and looking at how the senior people are solving those problems that you want to solve. And you realize that the more senior you go, the more high level and big picture your thinking needs to be. So yeah, the problem solving is there, but how long until you get there is another story. Should I, should I make it more lighthearted? <laughs> no, I like it. Would you, I feel like... Would you, fight a, would you fight elephant sized duck or like 10 <laughs> duck sized elephants? Honestly, probably like duck sized elephants. Because I feel like I can <laughs> kick them around, but like, where is it? If it's like a massive ten duck, like it can elephant. just stomp on you. 10 duck sized elephants, though. Yeah. They're quite slow, <laughs> right? Well, it was. Spontaneously playing tennis right now because apparently no one booked the court <laughs> next to our flat. We saw it. I haven't played tennis in like five years, more than that actually, like probably like ten. So I'm pretty shit. Obviously, I start taking lessons again, but um, I literally don't have time because of my job. The only time I can play is on the weekends. But then the weekend often I want to do other stuff like play football. So yeah, I haven't really had the time to play tennis, but like I really want to pick it up again and learn it because it, it sounds like something quite fun. Yeah. What well, Jason, you filming? Okay, not not your feet. For free. Please film uh, fucking mirror or something. Censor it. Censor the fans like. Not yet. Not yet. It will happen. So you know. Please.